Hello Jumpstart Coach Clint here. Welcome to another episode of our Soundbites. Today I will be sharing with you some of the ugly basketball tactics that should be avoided by all coaches. And of course this is in my perspective as a grassroots developmental coach of basketball. Because unfortunately, there are a lot of ugly tactics that coaches use to win more games at the expense of their team's long-term development. Things like running a zone defense, intimidating young referees, not developing positionless players, and many more. And by the way guys, these things will be discussed in our succeeding episodes. Uh, the reason behind why they are considered as ugly tactics. Okay, so these tactics can be effective in the short term. Again, I'm going to say this one again in short term. But any coach who use them is putting their ego before the development of their players. And they are stealing fun out of basket, which is not good. That's one reason why I established Jumpstart Basketball to develop and add more competitiveness in playing basketball in the city because Jumpstart Basketball aims to help first win more games with players in their respective teams All right, we're going to help them improve their games so that they are going to help their teams win more games second develop highly skilled players that can compete and will give more chances in getting scholarships all right we're, we're not just going to let them play we're going to develop them to be skilled players so that the greater the chances that they're going to have to get scholarships in bigger universities out of playing basketball third ensure that the team where these players are playing has incredibly successful basketball season. All right? That's the whole aim why Jump Stop was being established. Because I believe you'll achieve all of this without any of the terrible tactics that I mentioned at the beginning of this episode. All you have to do is work hard, study the game, teach and train your players and of course we're not just going to teach them we're going to teach them in the right way always look at the things in a long-term perspective coaches don't just do what other coaches are doing just because they are winning or in any practical way we need more money and we need a job and winning is one way of keeping the job all right, don't, don't make it as an excuse to lose sight of what really are we trying to achieve in a long-term perspective. I am not saying that what we are teaching is wrong because we have our own way of doing things. What I'm trying to say is that there are more effective and better ways of doing it without sacrificing the main reason why we are coaching this game. Because for me, coaching is 100% the same as teaching. Whatever we give and teach, our players are going to carry it and bring it with them wherever they will be. And that's how important our role is as a coach. That's why, in my 17 years of coaching, I've learned to prioritize as a coach, and all of us should do, especially when we are in a grassroots level. Development should always come first. We are here to develop players. We are here to help them become successful. We are here to give them opportunities that only basketball can offer it to them. So let's not waste any moment of their young lives wasting on some ugly tactics just because we want to gain. Spit out our ego coaches. Remember, development should always come first. Alright, 
so that's it for today guys i just hope you were able to take something from our discussion today and i really i do appreciate to all of you who are listening again thank you for listening and stay safe everyone <laughs>